An Oklahoma City native, Edith Kinney Gaylord was born March 5, 1916, to Inez and E.K. Gaylord. One of three children, she grew up alongside her sister Virginia and brother Edward. Their father was the editor and publisher of the Daily Oklahoman and the Oklahoma City Times. Educated for a short time abroad in Switzerland, Gaylord graduated from Classen High School, known today as Classen School of Advanced Studies in Oklahoma City. She entered Colorado College in Colorado Springs, her father's alma mater, and maintained a lifelong relationship with the institution. She graduated from Wells College in Aurora, New York, with a Bachelor of Arts degree with emphasis in English, French, and Social Studies. Her journalism career began at her father's newspapers, writing news stories and reporting for the Society Department. Five years later, in 1942, she was hired by the Associated Press in New York City, ultimately transferring to the Washington, D.C. Bureau. There, she became the first woman on the general news staff. Edith Kinney Gaylord was paving the way for female journalists that followed. She developed a lasting friendship with First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, following her early coverage of the First Lady's press conferences focusing on women and legislation. The women-only conferences gave the contingent a voice in the process of political communications, further ensuring the growing number of female reporters. Gaylord became the First Lady's media liaison and secretary of Eleanor Roosevelt's Press Conference Association. Her assignments were varied and included accompanying Madame Shang Kai-shek on her 1943 tour of America. In 1944, she was elected president of the Women's National Press Club, where on the evening of her installation, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt was the keynote speaker. Their First Lady had sent in advance an orchid from the White House Conservatory to congratulate Gaylord. In compensating for the height difference between her and the First Lady, Gaylord opted to use the orchid in her hair, believing it would give the illusion of height. Years later, she would say she was certain it must have looked just awful. Gaylord believed the most significant story she covered for the Associated Press was the death of President Franklin Roosevelt, saying, although the news staff was able to stand up under the pressure of getting news, going without food and sleep, and working long hours, none of them, despite their political beliefs and creeds, could withstand the emotional impact of the loss of the president. Following the end of World War II, Gaylord returned to Oklahoma City and her father's newspaper. It was time to learn the business side of the newspaper. The lure of covering the world's news took her back to Washington, D.C. in 1951, where she covered, among other things, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in London, England, before returning to Oklahoma City in 1963 for good. She rejoined the family business and became an active member of the Oklahoma Publishing Company Board of Directors. At the age of 47, Edith Kinney Gaylord was home and ready to quietly make an impact on her community with her time and resources. Sunbeam Family Services is just one of the local organizations that benefited from her generosity. As a longtime board member, Gaylord's generosity led to the creation of an endowment, a gift that has provided annual operating support to Sunbeam for 30 years. She was an avid supporter of Variety Health Center, established by the Junior League in 1932 to care for uninsured, low-income women and children. And she established the Gaylord Center of the YWCA's Domestic Abuse Program in honor of her mother, who had come to Oklahoma City in 1911 as a national YWCA worker. To carry on her giving, she established two foundations, Inasmuch Foundation to lessen suffering and enrich the quality of lives it touches, and Ethics and Excellence in Journalism Foundation to build the ethics and opportunities needed to advance principled, probing news and information. The Foundation's gifts made possible the completion of Gaylord Hall, home of the University of Oklahoma's Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication, where the Edith Kinney Gaylord Library and Resource Center is the focus of the top floor. Oklahoma City EduCare, serving 212 at-risk children, birth to five years of age, and their families, and the construction of Colorado College's Edith Kinney Gaylord Cornerstone Arts Building. To date, through her foundations, her legacy of giving has exceeded $130 million. The list of Gaylord's honors and awards is lengthy. However, the honorary doctorates of humane letters she received from Colorado College and the University of Oklahoma held extra special meaning to her. Late in life, she would remark, 
I was born into the newspaper business. I will die a news person no matter what I'm doing. That happens to be my deepest love and concern. Edith Kenny Gaylord passed away on January 28, 2001 at St. Anthony Hospital, where she was born 84 years earlier. Although gone from this life, her generosity and spirit are with us each and every day as she continues to make a difference in the lives of others. Accepting the award on behalf of Edith Kenny Gaylord are her nieces, Christy Everest and Louise Bennett, and Bob Ross, President and CEO of Inasmuch Foundation and Ethics and Excellence in Journalism Foundation.